Pass it, Brady. Go! Go, Sam! mother-in-law's 90th birthday today and we are on our way over for a drive-by birthday celebration so come along with us for a little bit Chris is already there Miss J is driving me and Isaiah there <laughs> Isaiah's sweet <laughs> Back for the drive-by. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah. King and Cam and my sisters. We haven't seen them in like about a year since my mother's funeral. They're in Atlanta now, so I'll sneak up on them. Oh, I see somebody! <laughs> ah, how are you? Oh, ain't she so happy to see you? <laughs> oh, my goodness! Oh, how are you? Oh. Know how to drive. We saw him on TV. Yes, sir. <laughs> they saw you on TV. Hey, he said vanilla. Okay. For jumping rope. Tell me how I am How you doing? Uh, how 
are you? Good. Hey, Rob. Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, how are you good? Doing all right? Yeah. Where's your grand? Right there. Okay. Hey. How you? What's the name of them go to? Madison Regional? No, that's a private school. Mm -hmm. and, uh, okay, I haven't gotten it yet. I had her mail forwarded here, but I don't think I'm getting everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it takes a long it's time. It's been a long time. time. I see the ancient. Oh! I noticed that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, Talk man. to you. Okay. Mm, bye bye. I can't remember the timing of it. You know how to turn that one. I'm not sure. You can't even turn one rope. Yeah. Oh! 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 Wait a minute. Do you see that old man I keep posting? Gonna double dutch you uh -uh. and run towards it and fall uh -uh. before you even get started? No. You don't need Come get the rope, mom. No, no, no. Not yet, because when you toss them, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. When they're done, get the rope, mom. You're either gonna do one thing or the other. I don't know how to do it. How you been? Good. How are you? Getting. Oh my gosh. You know how to jump with one rope? Yeah. Okay, you don't know how to do it? No, we don't do that. Oh, y'all gotta bring that back. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Go, baby. 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 Go, baby.
So we just left um, my niece's house. We're in a different car. My husband met me and Isaiah at um, the body shop. So they're getting a couple of things buffed out of Isaiah's car, out of Isaiah's car, and I'm on my way home. So. Hey guys, so I am at Arby's as you saw. I am going to get something new that they keep advertising on TV. Okay, I would like your prime rib cheese steak. Um, the I, you. I would like your uh, prime rib cheese steak meal. And um, it doesn't have mayonnaise on it, does it? Or any no. sauce? Okay. Um, a medium. Um, it's one season. Um, one got salt. The crinkle got salt, and the curly fries not seasoned. They're not. No. Okay, I'll take the crinkle fries, and uh, the drink I would like is a. Do you have uh, like pink lemonade? No, we got regular uh, like lemonade with the name. Okay. Um, I'll take a a coke, oh. and that'll be all. Okay, and do you have any sauce that comes on the side? Uh, no. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hey guys, so sorry I'm looking a little rough. It's Saturday, I was not planning on really going anywhere. I knew we had to take the car to get it uh, buffed. There's a couple of spots that needs to be buffed. So I have not eaten anything today. I started messing around, editing videos and, and straightening up and stuff and messed around and did not eat. So I am starving. Um, my husband called and he was like, we can, I'll, um, my husband called and said it was time to take the car to the place. So, cause he was refereeing the game. So y'all, I stopped by Arby's because I was starving and hadn't eaten and got the Philly cheesesteak I think that's what it's called with the peppers I've been seeing it on the commercials and I haven't been to Arby's in a long time but I don't know if y'all can see that but it has peppers it's steak and peppers and I don't know if there's onions on it or not but it looks delicious so it has some some cheese I forget what kind of cheese I'll try to write it down at the bottom of the screen. I'll go home and look it up. <laughs> but, oh my, and some fries. I got a medium fry. And I don't remember if I've tasted light lemonade, but uh, Mini Maid has a light lemonade. And I was like, mm, I'm not going to chance it. It might, it might not taste good. So I got a Coke for the drink. I got some ketchup and some salt. And I think he only gave me one ketchup. What? Usually they inundate you with ketchup. Oh, man. And they didn't have any sauce. I could have swore they had like some kind of a dipping sauce with their Philly cheese steak. Oh man, let me see if there's some more ketchup in this bag. Oh, whew, I was about to say. Don't do me like that. Don't hurt my feelings. And my husband does not keep ketchup in his car. Because he says, you know, they bust in the heat or whatever. I always keep condiments in my car because I, I need condiments 
my husband can eat french fries without anything on them i cannot i have to have ketchup and salt and then the boy only gave me two ketchups what okay put my little salt on here Dear Lord, I thank you for this food. I thank you, Lord, for this day and your many blessings. Make this food nourishing and not harmful. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I give you thanks, praise, glory, and honor. For it all belongs to you. Amen. All right. Let's get into this and see how it tastes. I kept seeing this commercial over and over and over. Like I said, I always have to adjust my sandwiches. Got a little bit more meat in one area than in another. I like all of my stuff evenly spaced out so that I can taste the same thing in every bite. Look at that. That looks delicious. Mmm. That's pretty good. That's not the best I've ever, ever tasted. But it's good. They did not give me any napkins. But that's okay. My husband does keep a ton of napkins in his car. So my husband met me and Isaiah at the shop. And him and Isaiah stayed with the car while I was getting buffed out. And I'm in his car going home. Their fries are not real flavorful. Mmm. But I wanted just some type of sauce. I could have swore on the sign that they had like an all jaw sauce or something. But the lady said they didn't have any sauce. So I'm gonna have to double check that. Let me do some, a little investigating. They need some kind of a sauce for dipping. This will be really good with some teriyaki sauce or something. Mm. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on this sandwich. The meat needs a little bit more flavor. Like it's good, probably because I'm so hungry. But it needs a little bit of help. So, my mother-in-law had a nice turnout for her birthday yesterday, her 90th birthday. Everything went really nice. Um, we go over tomorrow for a family dinner. Mmm. So, it's like a potluck style. Every individual family brings something. So, I think we're taking chicken and green beans and something else. Oh, banana pudding. My husband makes a really good banana pudding. And he loves to make it for people. And not just anybody. I didn't mean for it to sound like that, but <laughs> like for our extended family, we have cookouts or dinner. He'll take his banana pudding. I think he's taking it to work before too. Mm. So it's good because I'm hungry, but other than that, it could use some help. The fries. You know how some french fries just taste like straight potato? This is uneventful. So right now, I thank and praise God for ketchup and salt. <laughs> and this is decent. Like I said, it's not the best. It's very average. Um, I can use some more seasoning for the meat. The bun could have been toasted. It's just like 
it's like it's warmed but it's not it's too doughy a little bit for me mm. but it is just about 3 30 and i haven't eaten anything no breakfast or anything so yeah i'm eating this like this the best thing i ever had <laughs> And my husband has play rehearsal today. He's in a play at church. So he has to be at 4.30. As that's part of the stage crew. And he hasn't really had to go yet. But he may be going with my husband today. <coughs> Woo! That's carbonated. Good Lord, that's carbonated. <clears throat> It's strong. I like it that strong, but I wasn't expecting it. I haven't had some Coke in a while. I hit my throat like, Boo oh my goodness. <clears throat> mm. I need to go home. And cut up some fruit. The fruit that I got the other day at Jungle Gems. I need to cut it up and freeze it. Because it'll be for our smoothies. Y'all? Y'all not missing nothing. Y'all are not missing nothing with this RB sandwich. Now, unless I just got a hold to one, you know, that's bad, or if you want to say that. <clears throat> Where they didn't season, season the meat. But I would almost think that RB sends it to its individual locations already prepped and prepared. They just have to warm it. I don't know. But if all of them are like this and they don't season them right there at the restaurant, y'all not missing a thing. And I'm sorry to report that. But that's just my honest opinion. <clears throat> I probably should have tried the curly fries. I got some a long time ago. But she said they were not seasoned. And I want some seasoning. Seasoning on my fries. So, I said just give me the crinkle. But give me salt and ketchup. And these need more ketchup. But anyway, I don't have a lot to jaw jack about. I'm going to hurry up so I can beat my husband inside home. So I have everything home now and I had four containers of strawberries. I thought I had five. I'm looking at the refrigerator one more time. I thought I had five. This is actually not the day I brought them home. So I don't think nobody done ate them up. <laughs> but anyway, that was such a great deal, y'all. Two, four, 99 cents. Y'all excuse this bag. I say I just made some fries in the air fryer. Um, I have these grapes and they taste good, y'all. $1.76. This is a pound and seven eighths. Um, 
Yeah, this is 2.37 pounds. So, very good deal on the fruit from Jungle Gems. But the other stuff, I will not be going back for regular shopping. So, I just washed these off. And I'm slicing them on the cutting board. Excuse this, but I, I dried them off and got red on it. Um, and then putting them in the bag. And I'm going to freeze them for smoothies. And I'm also going to do the same thing with this pineapple. I have them all sliced up and in the bag I'm laying these flat just kind of separating them a little bit I'm gonna put them in the freezer and these are the containers a couple of them was bad I guess that's why they were two for 99 cents of course um, but I still got a lot of strawberries for the price so these are the tops this is where I cut it out at so this is not all strawberry y'all it's just a few that are and I put it mostly in this container. Some whole ones that were like bad, starting to go bad. So I, j I didn't even mess with those. These are tops with a few bad strawberries. But the rest of them were good. And they are so good. And beautiful color on them. Tastes good. So yeah. I'm also going to put the date on these. So I will know when I bought them. How long they've been in the freezer. And here's the pineapple. Laying them flat. Putting them in the freezer. They got to play. the oh. second one. Oh, the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on. okay. So they might have had a tree well, there and they cut it down. Uh-huh. Basketball. And that might just now be That's seated. Good. Yeah. You got to be doing something. Yeah. I'm not right. seeing y'all. It's so good seeing y'all. Ain't you? Love you. you. <laughs> he was here a year and then he was here. with these little cherry tomatoes. Yeah. Don't yeah. be glad This one took oh. over. See, they all, they all uh, this was the one, this one little cherry tomato. It's like all those that's on the kitchen counter. Uh-huh. Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So when they unthaw, I'm just going to cook them, put them in soup and stuff. My sister has some real pretty cherry tomatoes on her plant outside of her house. I meant to show it. I should have shown her little garden area, but these are so juicy, so flavorful. Really good. So this is a leftover plate from my mother-in-law's. We're eating this for dinner. Everybody takes potluck, so everybody has something to bring home to their own home. So this is what we have. Mm -hmm. 